Welcome to the VEX Press. In this video, we have significantly explored the stock market in the context of the Indian economy. Dear friends, today, we learn how supply and demand determine share prices using a concrete example to show off the concept. And we will also know about all the elements or factors that can affect supply and demand. So, let's get started. The stock market is a platform where shares of publicly listed companies are bought and sold. It plays a crucial role in the Indian economy by enabling businesses to raise capital for expansion and growth and providing investment opportunities for individuals and institutions. The major stock exchanges in India are the Bombay Stock Exchange (BSE) and the National Stock Exchange (NSE). Role in the economy 1. Capital formation Companies raise funds by issuing shares, which helps them finance their operations and expansion. 2. Investment opportunities Investors can buy shares to earn returns in the form of dividends and capital gains. 3. Economic indicator the performance of the stock market often reflects the overall economic health and investor sentiment. How is share price determined? Broadly speaking, prices in the stock market are driven by supply and demand. This makes the stock market similar to other economic markets. When a stock share is sold, a buyer and seller exchange money for share ownership. The price for which the stock is purchased becomes the new market price. When another share is sold, this price becomes the newest market price. A company's market cap is first established in an initial public offering (IPO). In preparing for this process, a company pays a third party, typically an investment bank, to determine the value of a company and recommends how many shares to offer to the public and at what price. For example, a company whose value is estimated at 100 million may want to issue 10 million shares at $10 per share. Once a company goes public and its shares start trading on a stock exchange, its share price is determined by supply and demand in the market. If there is a high demand for its shares, the price will increase. If the company's future growth potential looks dubious, sellers of the stock can drive down its price. Dear friends, market price shows only how much the market is willing to pay for its shares, not how much it is actually worth. This time, in order to make the main agenda of our video more clear in front of you, let's give an example in advance. Let's say investors are clamoring to buy shares of ABCD Inc., a hypothetical energy company. On Monday, the stock might be priced at $35 a share. A day later, a Wall Street analyst publishes an optimistic report about the future of the energy sector. This positive outlook triggers more demand for ABCD stock, pushing the price up to $40 a share. So, in just one day, the stock price has risen 14%. Dear friends, by now we hope it is clear to us that demand and supply are the main determinants of stock prices. So, let's know a little bit about all the elements or factors that can affect this key determinant. 1. Economic factors. Strong economic growth, indicated by high GDP, low inflation, and favorable government policies, usually leads to a rise in the stock market. On the other hand, economic downturns, marked by slow growth, high inflation, or unfavorable policies, can cause stock prices to fall. Two corporate performance. If companies report strong profits, their stock prices typically rise. On the other hand, poor financial results can lead to a decline in stock prices. 3. Investor sentiment. Positive news, such as technological advancements or successful product launches, can boost investor confidence, leading to a rise in stock prices. On the other hand, Negative news, such as political instability or natural disasters, can cause fear among investors, leading to a market decline. 4. Global events. Global economic stability and growth can lead to higher stock prices in India. On the other hand, global crises, such as financial crises or geopolitical tensions, can negatively impact the Indian stock market. 
5. Government policies, pro-business policies, tax incentives and regulatory reforms can boost the stock market. On the other hand, high taxes, restrictive regulations or political instability can cause the market to fall. Simplified example, suppose the Indian government announces a series of economic reforms that boost infrastructure development. As a result, construction companies report higher profits. Investors feeling optimistic about future growth start buying shares of these companies, driving up stock prices. Conversely, if a major global event like a financial crisis occurs, investors may become fearful and sell their shares, leading to a drop in stock prices. In essence, the stock market is a dynamic entity influenced by a complex interplay of various factors, reflecting the economic, corporate and investor sentiments both domestically and globally. Stay well everyone, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode of the VEX Press.